Uh, this program features A Midsummer Night's Dream, which is the classic Shakespeare tale told in a ballet form. So we have uh, all the famous characters. We have Oberon and Titania, the king and queen of the fairies, who are uh, kind of playing with the mortals, the uh, four lovers who find their way into the forest and uh, kind of cast some spells on them. And there's some lovers mix up. It's a comedy. Um, we have Puck, their sort of uh, um, friend who plays these pranks on, uh, on Oberon and Titania themselves, but also on the lovers and uh, the four rustics who are bumbling through the forest as well. So it's a fun story. It's uh, uh, great dancing and great music by Felix Mendelssohn. Well, this is a production that was created by uh, a man named Christopher Stoll, who is now the associate director of the National Ballet of Canada in Toronto. But when he was director of Oregon Ballet Theatre, he made this production for that company. Um, and we are the first company outside of Oregon Ballet Theatre to perform it. So uh, that's a nice distinction for us here in Grand Rapids. So we have the sets and costumes here um, rented. They're beautiful. Um, everyone looks fantastic. We have uh, trees that move around the stage. We have um, lots of students from our Grand Rapids Ballet School in the production as well. So they're the ones, uh, the bugs and the butterflies who are moving these uh, trees around the stage. They've got wings on and it's a, it's a great treat for the whole organization from the kids up through the professionals. Oh yeah, this is a family friendly production. This is uh, Shakespeare's comedic tale. So it's, you know, there's not the, there's not the tragedy to, to worry about if you're going to bring the family. It's, it's a lot of fun and it all ends up well in the end. So Serenade is uh, a separate work that we are going to include in this program. So we'll see Serenade first, then there's an intermission, and then you'll see a Midsummer Night's Dream. Serenade is really a masterpiece of the ballet repertoire, performed worldwide um, by every generation of dancers since its creation in 1934 by George Balanchine, who came to America from Russia and founded New York City Ballet. So he's pretty much considered the, the father of American ballet. And this was the first ballet he ever choreographed here, and it has become a true masterpiece, uh, the epitome of his style, which is uh, a freedom within classical ballet technique that uh, allows for a lot of expressiveness through the dancers themselves. There's a lot of individuality that these dancers can bring forth while still doing the same steps that they've been performing for years and years. And um, I'm just really happy that our dancers get a chance to perform it and our audiences as well get to see it. Because anyone who likes ballet, who has ever been a dancer or likes to dance, needs to see this ballet at least once in their life. <laughs> we have uh, two weekends of performances for A Midsummer Night's Dream and Serenade opening on April 22nd, Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday matinee. And then the following weekend, again on Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday matinee. Our second weekend is actually an alumni uh, event uh, weekend. So we're, we're calling all alumni, anybody who was ever associated with Grand Rapids Ballet, whether you were a dancer or a patron or a board member, or just liked the ballet and have been around for a while, we'd love to have you gather here and celebrate with us our 50 years uh, during that weekend. We have got lots of special events planned uh, for, for you. So you can check that out on our website at grballet.com. Yes, this is the end uh, of our 21-22 season, um, but we have announced our 22-23 season, um, which begins in August with a, a slew of outdoor performances, which we're very excited about. Something that we started doing more of during COVID, but we want to keep it alive because it's so nice to be outside in the summers in Michigan and um, it, it's kind of free, freeing to be a dancer outside too. So in August we have a performance um, at Studio Park downtown, um, which we did for the first time last year. It was a big success. And then we're going to return to Frederick Meyer Gardens um, again on uh, the last Tuesday in August for a performance at their amphitheater, which is a beautiful space to see a show. So our 22-23 season is very exciting. We've announced um, our five programs. We have a, a show in October. We have our Nutcracker, of course, in December. We have a brand new production of Romeo and Juliet, which I'll be choreographing in February, and a Broadway meets ballet program in April of 20. 23, which I'm very excited about. Um, so, so season subscriptions are available now um, on our website, grbi.com, and subscribers, of course, get the best seats, the best perks, and, uh, and a discount too. Grand Rapids Ballet is in uh, its 50th year in the year 2022, so we're very proud of being here for that long. Um, and since then, yeah, we've performed countless story ballets, abstract ballets, junior company productions, um, just We've done everything in terms of like contemporary and classical, and we want to continue to bring 
the best of classical ballet and contemporary dance to the stage here in Grand Rapids because we are Michigan's only professional ballet company and that is a responsibility that we feel we must continue to present live art. It, otherwise these, these ballets, they will, they will die out if they are not performed live. Sure, they live in video, but it's not the same as a live performance and that's, what, that's our business is the art of bringing people together into the theater for a live performance. Ballet is a tradition that is passed down from individual to individual. It's, you can read about it in a book and you, you can learn about it in a book, but it's really hard to actually learn how to do it at a high level without that direct communication, that direct passing down of knowledge. So you really do feel connected to the past when you're taking a ballet class. You feel like you're learning uh, from your teacher who learned from their teacher and from their teacher. And it, it is a tradition and uh, we have to keep it alive. Thank you.